Hey everybody, so today we are going to take some existing assets that I have and we're going to combine them. These are all individual static meshes and I'm going to take these individual meshes and combine them into a single static mesh. So um, let's get started real quick. So the first thing I'm going to do is highlight all of these static meshes. Um, and by doing that, it will allow me to convert them into a single static mesh. So let me go ahead and do that first. Okay. I believe that covers, let's see, all of those. And there's one more that we have to add, which is this sphere or this uh, cube. Add this guy okay so then with all of those selected what you can do is right click you can say convert actors to static mesh I'm going to give it a location so we'll just go to meshes and I will call this um, I'm going to call this a uh, wall. And we'll call it, I don't know, the fort wall. Okay. I'm going to save this. So that exported out our... Uh, our fort wall and let's go look and see I'm trying to think of yeah here we go okay so here you'll see our fort wall so this is our, our mesh now I'm gonna drag this mesh let me show you down here so here is our mesh look at that and we can see it looks exactly like the mesh that we were just looking at so if I were to drag this into our environment right let me show you that real quick so I'm gonna take this uh, let me switch monitors for you okay I'm gonna take the wall I'm going to click and drag and hold and I'm going to drop it right into our world here okay so now here is our new uh, here was the original model that had all the individual pieces now here is our new static mesh which combined all of those pieces um, if I take this now and I rotate it Oh, actually, the rotation is directly in the center. Let's look at this from up, up, up above. Sometimes I've done this, and uh, yeah, well, look at that. Hey, this may be a really short video. I've done this in the past where the center of rotation is not is not where you would expect it to be. I hope you enjoyed today's quick tutorial. It's a quick and simple thing to take multiple independent static meshes like this, right? Within the Unreal Engine. So if you, if you take all these pieces, put them together, then you can easily craft larger structures combine them together into a single static mesh and then reuse that component over and over and that's what we've done here you noticed i was a little surprised that the the origin of this static mesh was in the center i definitely have had issues in the past 
I'm not sure if the engine maybe has updated the way it handles uh, where it puts the pivot, um, but I will show you in a separate video how to export a static mesh that you've created in this manner and adjust it within Blender to adjust where the pivot point is or technically anything else that you would like to adjust and then bring it back into Unreal. It's a really great way to uh, modify or extend assets that are mostly the way you want them, maybe from pre-made assets, and then putting your own touch on them and bringing them back in. Um, there's some tricks in there about materials, and I, and I will show you those things. Anyway, if you enjoyed today's content, please subscribe. I'm trying to grow my channel and all of your attention, ideas, uh, and support are, are welcome. Please leave me any comments below. Have a great day.